Uh, look at how much fun I'm having today. If you're watching this, you may not know what these are. If you're a diesel owner and you've been around the diesels that were built from you know the late 70s up to the mid 80s, you'll recognize these. They're all the same. They're off the OM616 and OM617 diesel engines. Now, this is called a primer pump, but I prefer to call it the lift pump. This is a mechanical fuel pump. On the top of this pump is another pump that's a hand primer pump. You have a couple different styles. So I prefer to call this the primer pump and this the lift pump. Although you'll hear this often referred to as the primer pump. Because basically what it does is it delivers fuel to the injection pump under pressure. It pumps right here. You can see the pumping mechanism. There's a cam that runs on this roller bearing and pushes this. It's really hard to push by hand, but it pushes this in and out. That's the action that moves fuel from the fuel tank up to the injection pump. So what I've been doing is taking these apart, kind of looking them over, you know, and seeing the wear problems with these. What I found is if your lift pump starts to go bad, you'll have some really weird things happening. Maybe you got a power problem. It doesn't seem to want to accelerate or it doesn't go as fast as I used to. <laughs> and you've tried changing your fuel filters and you know, okay, it didn't improve it. When this pump starts to wear out, pressure to the injection pump is going to drop. And with reduced pressure, you're going to have a loss of power and possibly hard starting. And there's a couple other weird symptoms that could come along with one of these being worn out. There's a couple things that can wear. This ball bearing can wear out, so you don't get the same amount of pumping action. Although I've only seen a couple of these where this is actually uh, worn out or worn a flat spot in it. This is pretty robust. The pumps tend to last a long time, but these cars are 35 to 40 years old now. The problem is inside the pump, there are two check valves in there. And when these check valves wear, what happens is you know, you're not getting that sealing motion similar to a vacuum pump, so you're not getting maximum pressure being delivered to the injection pump. So I've been taking these apart, looking at wear patterns. Here is a check valve here, and you can start to see a little wear pattern right along there where it hits the seat inside here. So down inside, uh, let's go ahead and take this one apart. This is where one of the check valves resides ceiling ring and then you've got a spring here and there's the plastic it's a really hard plastic check valve and then down there's a seat so you can have excessive wear on the seat you can have wear on this part of the face of the check valve where it seats down in there but what i'm seeing as i take these apart is i'm seeing weak springs now that also could affect <laughs> fuel pressure being delivered from this pump. The new springs, of course, are a little bit stiffer. You can, it's very subtle, but there's a, a little bit of difference in the spring tension. And if you look at the newer seats, you can see it's, they're very smooth, very hard. And it looks like it may even be a different material. It's hard to tell. So I have just completed my kit, my rebuild kit for the lift pump for you diesel owners who have been waiting for this. This is a short announcement. If you're interested in getting this kit and rebuilding your own lift pump, it comes with complete video instructions on how to do this yourself. And I'm gonna put a link right now. I'm gonna just put a link below in the description of this video that will take you right to my new kit. And who knows, you may get renewed power on your old diesel. I also need to mention the importance of having a good primer pump. This isn't going to affect pressure to the injection pump unless it's leaking badly. But I'll tell you, if you run out of fuel or you change your filters and you need to pump up pressure and remove the air from the lines, if you have an old worn out pump, it's just not going to do it. You can't believe how effective this Monarch heavy duty all metal pump is compared to the plastic ones or some of the cheaper ones that you see out there. But this just screws on to the top of the lift pump, just like this, and sits down in there. Of course, you know, you, you loosen it up like this, it screws down tight to seal it, but then you have the pumping action like this, and that really moves the fuel. So we also have this available. I'm not including this with a kit. 
because some people already have one of these pumps. So it's available to purchase separately. This pump will show up as a related product when you go to look at my new lift pump overhaul kit. I've taken apart six of these that I've had here in the shop and inspected them for wear. If they are in good condition, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild them and offer them for sale because new ones are extremely expensive. So if you find your lift pump is badly worn out, for instance, you've got damage here or excessive wear on the seats inside the pump housing, then you're gonna to have to get a replacement. So I'm gonna offer these rebuilt pumps as well and you can check out the links in the description below this video.